Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwedash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, starting with the 144,000 men of Israel, which would consist of the servants, the prophets, whom have been ordained since the foundations of the earth to sing this new song, which comes in the form of this gospel, which would be preached throughout all four corners of the earth and rest upon the ears of the innumerable multitude of the men, women, and children of Israel, which may be scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a um, an article real briefly uh, with you, Aki and Akwaf. You know, showing um, you know the the times that we're living in and that we're very close uh, to the end of Esau. I mean, we've close we're closer than we've ever been. And, you know, and it's to the point where, you know, these regular Joe six packs, you know, they've even come to the conclusion, you know, that things are going to turn nasty <laughs> as it's titled in this article. You know, so for you Jakes that don't get it, you know, that can't see it, right, that continue to have this mindset like, you know, it's like we're back in 1999 and, you know, you have no worries, you have no enemies, you know, you're sadly mistaken. You're sadly mistaken. You see, in the men, okay, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down to us like-minded men, okay, are blowing the trumpet. And we're telling you that danger's coming. We're warning you, okay? We're warning you of the pending danger, okay? But you don't want to listen. But it's going to be on you. You see, because whether you hear or forbear, man, because we know we've been sent to a rebellious house, man. A hard-hearted people. You see? So we'll prophesy to the wind if we have to to get the blood off our hands, man. But Jake, you can't say you didn't know. You see? You can't say you didn't know. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai, the first scripture I want to get, let's go here. Let's go to Joel, the third chapter. The second chapter, Salakia. In the first verse, and it reads, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, right? And Zion is what? To Zion. In the Paleo Hebrew, which goes into monument or memorial. You see? And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. You see, the coming of the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is now at hand. And it's going to be a buildup. To Yahweh Shai cracking these clouds, man. And it's going to come with danger. Okay, it's going to come with violence. And it's going to come with evil. And only evil, as it says here. Let's go here real quick. In Ezekiel 7. And this is what you Jake don't get. Okay? <laughs> you Jake don't get it. It's not going to get better. You see? It's not going to get better from here on out. It's going to get worse. You think Biden had you wearing two masks? Hey, you ain't seen nothing yet, okay? And, and, and this this new uh, huh, scamdemic that's coming, you ain't seen nothing yet. You see, this is just one of many evils that are coming, man. Let's get this. The book of Ezekiel chapter 7, in verse 5, and it reads, Thus saith the Lord power, and evil, and only evil, Behold, is come. What is evil? Eve going at the time, ill going into bad, bad times. You see? Bad times, man. And only bad times, man. Behold, is come. It's not going to get better, Jake. An end is come. The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is come. <laughs> you see? And this is what it looks like. Let's get this article real quick. Now, this is from Zero Hedge, and it's dated Thursday, uh, October 12th, 
uh, Thursday, October 12, 2023. And we brought this out of that camp uh, this past Saturday, me and the, me and the, uh, the beloved brother and myself. Um, and it was, it's heavy. We jumped around a bit, but I'm going to stop from that. I'm going to just read through it, right? And it reads, quote, matter of fact, the title reads, right? Things will turn nasty. <laughs> you see, let's get it. And this reads, quote, I suddenly had this feeling that everything was connected. It's like, it's like I could see the whole thing. One long chain of events that stretched all the way back before Lark Hill. I felt like I could see everything that happened and everything that is going to happen. It was like a perfect pattern laid out in front of me. And I realized we're all part of it and all trapped by it. With so much chaos, someone will do something stupid. And when they do, things will turn nasty. You see? So there's in the video. <laughs> Man, check out this article, right? Let me jump down. Let's get into the article. And I guess that was from um, uh, Finch, V for Vendetta. Uh, Orwell's worst nightmares are being realized on a daily basis. Let's jump. Let's get into the article, right? And it reads, I have been tormented by the thought all the chaos. So, like, yeah, I have been tormented by the thought all the chaos, financial insanity, censorship, wars, and insane promotion of lawlessness by politicians is somehow connected. Right. And this individual is correct. It is. Because what you're going to find out is that the elite, okay, are the puppet masses controlling this situation. You see, this damn devil is creating the chaos that we see before us. You see, he's behind the financial insanity, all the censorship. He's losing it. He's losing the information war. You see, and we know all wars, physical wars are what? Bankers wars. Right? And we know the politicians, your lefties and your righties, they're all part of the same bird. <laughs> you see? They're part of the same bird. They're on the same team. Ultimately being controlled by the global elite. Which is, and they're being controlled by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Pursuant to Proverbs 21 and 1. You saw, so it all works in perfect harmony. But yeah, these devils are behind these situations that we see before us. Why? Because they're trying to set up this fourth industrial revolution. This NWO. You see, this whole setup will have to crash in efforts to resurrect the fourth industrial revolution, man. So this is why they're picking away at it. You see? They're causing this, this, this inflation, right? This famine that's coming. All right? These civil wars that are going to come to the land. The third world's war, right? But they think they're going to climb up out of the dust like the phoenix bird. But they're sadly mistaken. <laughs> Just like you, Jake. They're sadly mistaken too. Let's continue on. The scene in V for Vendetta when Finch connects all the dots, it's perfectly fits. So like, yeah, let me read this again. See, so yeah, that we read up top that quote was from V for Vendetta. It was from there. From, but anyways, the scene in V for Vendetta when Finch connects all the dots fits perfectly with how I feel about the world today. Since 2016, it feels like dominoes have begun to fall and it's just a matter of time before things turn really nasty. Right, hey, <laughs> it's only a matter of time. The clock is ticking. This is why Esau has a doomsday clock. You see? We're coming, we're creeping up on we're creeping up on the end of E. And it ain't gonna be pretty how it ends. You see, because pursuant to Revelations 18 and 21, it reads that Babylon uh shall fall by violence, man. All right, this great city is going to be thrown down by violence, man. You see, it's written, it's in the Bible, man. Let's continue on. I don't know if this is just my personal view and others aren't feeling the same thing, but I don't see how our society continues to function with the amount of chaos, anger, corruption, greed, and, dep and de depravity created by and accelerated by psychopathic billionaires 
And it's actually psychopathic trillionaires. Right, let's make a correction there, right? And their lackeys attempting to create an NWO through their great reset agenda, right? On a daily basis, we see pronouncements by our overlords like the one below, right? Now, check this out. We all know this, though, right? Klaus Schwab announces he's bringing forward the end of car ownership. You see? Why? Because they're saying that <laughs> uh, the cars are causing what? Global warming. You see, they do pollute. That's hands down. You see? So they'll ride off of that. You know, but their diabolical plan is to have you in an electrical car, okay, that can only get you get you around a 15-minute city. You see? <laughs> Let's continue on. Who is this man to decide whether I drive a gas-powered vehicle? Who gives these unelected totalitarians... The authority to tell me I'm going to live in a 15-minute city occupying by 500 square feet pod. Be satisfied with my bug portion. Use their central bank digital currency. And we all know what that's evolving around. That central bank digital currency is going to be what? That C hit. You see? That device the size of a grain of rice, right? So they can shut you down if your social credit score declines. Because you chose to deviate from the approved narrative on social media. So you already see the resistance of these people, man. You see how these people are resistant. And you can see it in this article that, hey, this is a regular Joe Sixpack. And that's how all of them feel. You see, you, you, you walk in Yamanak, I've uh, seen, seen them uh, <laughs> Edomites carrying on on TikTok. Talking about they will not comply. You see, and this is all through the spirit. This is scriptural. Let's go here real quick. We'll come back. Let's go here real quick. The book of Job. I want to say that's Job uh, 20. So, Lucky, a bit with me. It may be 21. Yeah, it is 21. So, Lucky, I'm in Job 10. It's 20. Let me go here. Tripping. Con is right here. The book of Job, chapter 20, as a matter of fact, bear with me, Akiyam and Akwath. Let me get it here. The book of Job, chapter 20, and verse 21, and it reads, I'm in the NLT. Let me get this out of the NLT. This phone is tripping. Let's go here. KJV. Boom. And let's read, right? Job 20 and 21. So like, yeah, Job 20 and Job 20 and 22. And the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits, right? And he's coming to the point where he's about to crown his enterprise success. He's going to be in a position of difficulty, that's what that word straits means, right? Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. And when you get this word wicked, it's not going into what we traditionally go into, right? Strong's H, 6001. A male. A male. Right. And it goes into what? Labor, right? Let's go ahead down to the uh, biblical usage. Laborer. Sufferer, see? Workmen. See, so the people, man. You know, the civilians. You see, his counterparts and everyone else, okay, that are under him. He's going to have resistors. They're going to resist him. You see? He's not going to be able to make the full transition. <laughs> you see that? Let's read that scripture again and go back to the article. In the full Job 20 and 22, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Why? Every hand of the wicked or every hand of the laborer or of the workman shall come upon him, man. See, they will not comply. This is not biblical prophecy we're seeing before us, man. That's why it's not a coincidence seeing those things on TikTok. But them uh, <laughs> regular Joe Sixpack Edomites uh, speaking in that, in that tone, right? 
towards their uh towards their uh their elite. Let's go here. Let's continue on. They want to have total control over a much smaller population once their depopulation plan through va- through these starvation, which is famines, and war is fully executed. And this is the evils. This is why we opened up through the spirit with Ezekiel 7. Okay, these evils are coming. Yahweh Bashim is going to allow it. You see? He's going to allow it, man. And now famine is going to do a number on you people. That he's going to allow this man to push. Scripture goes into how uh, many that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, man. And those that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. You see? So many great evils are coming. Let's get a little bit more. This is the back half of this fourth turning when things get nasty bloody and chaotic you see so we haven't seen anything yet and this is facts <laughs> hey, especially babylon okay what the lord has in store for babylon hey this place hasn't seen anything yet man the dominoes have begun to fall and we need to be prepared for the worst because it is coming yeah it is we will ha- will we have the strength fortitude and coverage to fight these psychopathic bastards to the death, we can't let them win. And the only ones that are going to be able to, the only ones that are going to get the victory, all right, are the elect. All right, first and foremost, over here in Babylon the Great. The only ones that are going to make it off this landmass, okay, is the elect, all right, and the elite that escape, right, that are, that are, that are destined to escape, they're not even going to be on this landmass. They're going to be in bunkers, Elsewhere. You see? But as far as Babylon the Great is concerned, all right, everyone on this landmass, the only one that, the only ones that are gonna make it off this landmass alive, all right, are the elect of Israel. That's it. Whether they get beamed into chariots or they have to fulfill Revelations 20 and 4. You see? Everyone else is not gonna make it. So it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what, how how deep your bunker is, you see you're gonna get you're gonna get caught up here, man. You're gonna get deleted here. You see, <laughs> that's why you, Jake, you know, that choose not to return back to your power. You're a fool, cause here it is. You're gonna die the death of an infidel, of an unbeliever. You see, cause these calamities are coming. You see, this is what Yahweh Bashem Yahushai has written an infinity for this place, man. And he's, he's using the elite to execute it. You see? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the puppet master. Let's go here. The book of Baruch. Chapter 4. In verse 30, and it reads, Take a good heart, O Jerusalem. Right? Remember, Jerusalem, the people before it's a place. Right? This is referring to us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. For he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. And that's starting with the elect. Because we're being comforted right about now with this word, with this understanding. See, we understand the end of Esau and what, has to, what comes with it. You see? So in articles like the one we just brought out through the Spirit, Hey, that brings comfort. Understanding that what? We at the end of this thing. Hey, the mirth is gone. The mirth is gone, man. Right? Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. And who afflicted us? That's a no-brainer. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, first and foremost. And the rest of these heathen. Right? Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Come on now. We served here in Mystery Babylon the Great. That's why you're called a citizen. This place, is, this place consists of cities, right? Miserable is she 
that received thy son. Yes, yeah, she who mystery Babylon the great. See, for as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad at thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. You see, it's going to be a violent overthrow of mystery Babylon the great. And only the elect of the nation of Israel are going to make it out. Let's prove that. And we'll close out here. Revelations 12. And verse 10 it reads, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation. Now mind you, this is John the Revelator uh, on the Isle of Patmos, man. Receiving visions of the latter time, man. Okay, check this out. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his mashayak. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Who's the accuser of our brethren? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You see, Psalms 50 tells you that he slender is his own mother's son man okay Esau Edom the so-called white man is the accuser of our brethren man and he accuses us day and night this is why he makes pork a delicacy all right all these sea creatures and crustaceans delicacies man and entices Jake with them you see that's just the tip of the iceberg okay he, he sneaks pork fat and everything Understanding that we're not supposed to eat that That is forbidden for us to eat these things You see But he does it, why? To accuse us man To Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai See? To keep us in transgression with our power So we have no way back But guess what? Prophecy pulled the okie doke on him You see? Because it's written that he will do those things See? At the end the wicked lose He loses at the end man Matter of fact, let's continue on. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. See that? They, who's they? The elect. Okay? Overcame him. Who? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, man. By the blood of Yahweh Shai. Right? And by the word of their testimony, man. This truth. You see, so this proves that you have to subscribe to a certain doctrine, okay, in order to be saved. It, it, it matters. <laughs> this precept alone proves that. What you subscribe to is going to determine if you make it or not, man. It's a, it's, a, it's a determining factor. See, and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto the death. You see, we win at the end of this thing, man. Lord willing, we be part of the elect. We're going to overcome this man's his MOTB, right? His name, his image. You see? We're going to overcome this man. Lord willing, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai keeps us. But you better believe these things are coming, man. They're coming, Jake. You Jake out there playing around, lollygagging, thinking everything's a game. These things are coming. See? And it's going to creep up on you like a thief in the night. Because that's how Yahweh Shai is coming. You're going to be crept up on. Why? Because you're not watching. You're not paying attention. You see? And you're going to get caught blindsided. Because you lack prudence. See, you didn't foresee the evil. Matter of fact, let's close out right here. The book of Proverbs. I think that's chapter 22. Yeah, Khan. The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Proverbs 22 and 3, and it reads, A prudent man, a wise man, right? Foresee if the evil, right? A wise man, a prudent man has foresight. You see? You can see into the future. You can see what's coming. <laughs> you see? 
a prudent man foreseeth the evil, right? The bad times and hideth himself. And how are we going to hide ourselves? In this word. You see? In the strong tower of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, through his name. This is how we're going to hide ourselves, man. But. The simple, the stupid, the sottish pass on and are punished, man. You see, and this is like unto 2.30, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, that are more focused on your favorite rapper, okay, your favorite athlete, you see, and Christmas. <laughs> you see, you're going to pass on, man, and be punished. Because you couldn't foresee the evil. Repent, Jake, while you still can. Hey, that's the <laughs> moral, you know, of this lesson. Repent. Because when these things come, when these things come to pass, hey, if you haven't repented and gotten yourself right with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in spirit and in truth, Jake, that's your ass, Jake. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kwedash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kal Halaliam La Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakak Kwedash Shalom.